Hello fellow amateur radio operators. Uh, my name is Denis, call sign F6CRP. And I would like to talk about a project I realized. It's a digital uh, VFO with analog dial. Uh, this project was designed by a Japanese ham, a Juliet Fox 3 Hotel Zulu Bravo. He wrote the code and he did a wonderful, wonderful job. Thanks. Thanks a lot for that. Uh, the code was later slightly modified by Klaus, Delta Juliet 7 Oscar Oscar, and uh, Bronco S57 Uniform the new Uniform. Thanks, thanks guys also. And this, uh, this project gave me some trouble. This VFO oscillates from a few hundred of kilohertz to 160 megahertz. In very, it's very interesting. The wiring is very, very simple. The project uses a TFT screen, an ESP32 development board, a well-known SI5351, two resistors, three push buttons, that's all. It's very, very simple. You know the context. I know three important points. Uh, first, this video will be short because long videos are boring. Uh, second point, all the description links for the documentation, code, etc. will be in the description of this video. And the third point, I have a very basic, basic knowledge of Arduino and ESP32. So, what was my problem? I couldn't compile the code. I always got an error message. As you said in English, WTF? Question mark. Why it works for the others and not for me? I did many, many experiences, tests without any success, and then uh, realized it was possible to use a previous version of the ESP32 package, and that was the solution. Um, a picture worth a thousand words, I'm not sure of the formula. So, uh, let's look on the screen. We assume you have downloaded the ESP32 package and installed it. Now we can load the sketch. For that go to File, Open, nothing fancy. You can close the whole window. OK, the sketch is loaded and you can see all the dependencies at the top of the window. Uh, now we'll uh, check and choose the board. Tools, board, ESP32 and choose ESP32 dev module if you have a doubt or no clue about it. Now maybe the most important, we'll check the package version. Always tool, board, board manager, and here you search for ESP32. And you can see you have the 2.07 version installed. You must uninstall this version Yes. OK, and now you can see here, you can select the 2.0.5 version. Install. That takes time. OK, done. It's OK, now you are ready to compile the code. OK, finished. And it works. Tips and tricks for the V8 version. The SI5351 provides three clocks. The output is assigned to clock 2. You can define your starting frequency here. In case of use with an intermediate frequency in a super red receiver, for example, you can offset. Here is the value to insert. As well, you can use a, a fixed frequency here, a carrier frequency.
you can define the range of your VFO. All frequencies are in Hertz. You have here nine memories. You can choose different frequencies, always in Hertz. If uh, displayed frequency is different from output frequency, and this is very likely, you can reduce this gap. Go to this file and change this value slowly and pay attention at what you do here. We are close to the end. The video is a bit longer than expected, <laughs> sorry. Uh, this is my board, yes I know, it's not the prettiest of the universe, but it's only a prototype, it works, and uh, it's a lot. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope this video can be useful for someone. 73 guys, have a nice day.